Hello again. Have you ever had to push start a car? I'm sure you have. You get yourself into a nice strong position, you put one foot in front of the other, you get your hands on the back of the car and you shove. But would you confuse that action with a punch? Let's take a look at the one inch punch faker. He positions himself, usually in a side on stance, so he can get his hips behind the push. He places his fist on the target and then he shoves as he steps into it. If he's particularly unskilled, he'll lift his shoulder or his hips will go backwards or he'll rise up out of his stance as he tries to get his body behind the push. The fact that his fist is closed does not make this a punch. It is a push. It is brute force. There is nothing explosive about it. It's not even a good way to push someone because there is an obvious preparation which requires time that is not available to you in a fight and which tells your opponent it's coming. But we'll take a look at that later. Another giveaway that this is a brute force push and not a punch is that the compliant receiver does not fall straight down. Rather, he staggers back until he hits a conveniently placed obstacle such as a chair or sofa. Watch such videos carefully. You'll notice that the receiver could in fact easily regain his footing. It's the chair or sofa that actually causes him to fall. Now let's take a look at the characteristics of a genuine one inch punch. There's no need to place one foot forward. There's no need to step into it. There's no need to get your hips in line or pivot into it. Unfortunately, I don't have a human partner to show you the effect. But there is an advantage to using my friend Bob, which is that he's honest. He will never react just to make me look good. If I merely shove Bob, he will not stagger and fall. He will merely lean backwards. But if I hit him explosively, his 100 kilo base will lift suddenly. If you absolutely have to push someone, the method is very similar to the one inch punch. You can do it one handed, but two handed is better if you can get two hands on him. So don't be taken in by people who demonstrate a brute force shove, but try to sell it as a one inch punch. Thanks for watching.